okay welcome guys to the third tutorial and here what we will be doing is we will be fetching our uh, news response uh, so then we can just start working on our application so I'll just close all the tabs here to make it a little bit more cleaner and less confusing because when we are making big apps it's a lot of mess I think okay so what we need to do is first of all we need to get this API response that we have here right how do we arrange this in a way that like it's less messy and how do we generate our uh, entity classes or our model classes where we have the access to like news and we have access to description we have access to everything that we need from this API so I assume that you have already registered your uh, register your API key and you have this some sort of code with you like th this kind of uh, so what I'll just do is I'll just go to news API dot org and try to show you okay yeah I'm already logging so we'll just go to get API key this is my API key obviously if you are making an app like in real life then you don't show it so this is the documentation and if we want the whole headlines if we see here top headlines then this is my API key and this is what is going to get me right so first of all we'll just display all the headlines okay this is what I'm getting right so I'll just control a C like I already told you before if you don't have this API key here then you have to you know like search through this website and read a little bit of a documentation so going back here if we can uh, this Scotland data from file from JSON so this is like a JSON response and how do we get this plugin here so if we go to settings if you don't have that obviously I have it so I'm just showing you we'll go to plugins we can search here Kotlin to JSON so I already have this installed but you can install and maybe restart your Android studio if it does not get displayed at the first so I'll just go in here and I'll just paste all that all the response and I'll just name it article and I'll just generate and three Kotlin classes have been generated successfully okay so oh weird <laughs> article article X and source so <laughs> we can just uh, change the name of this one to news maybe And I'll just going to refactor it. Okay, now we're good. And also change it to article. Mm. Okay, um, yes, change it to. refactored okay while we are at it because this is the data class that is going to store the data from API in the variables but we are also going to use room database right if you remember so for that we can create a separate class to make it less messy and we can name that as saved article because room data class also needs this model I'll just yeah and I'll just copy all these okay saved article okay this is good and now we'll just implement the room there uh, yeah here we'll just type entity annotated with room annotations um, the table name is going to be news 
art pickles okay and now obviously we need an id for each article that we are going to save so that is going to be our primary key also so it gets auto generated i have done room tutorials a lot so i'm sure you would understand if you have been following the channel but i will just tell for those who have not uh, or no familiarity with uh, with the room so this is what like this is basically we are creating columns and in those columns we are going to save the data of each article this is the best possible like description that i can give you of what we are doing actually because in the database there are columns one two three four five like columns right so in each column there is a column name and then respectively it has the corresponding uh, information for that each uh, row or column yeah okay so here what we'll do is uh, let me just create another column and then I'll explain okay URL is for the article itself if you don't want to store the news uh, response in your database local database like room database then you don't have to do this saved article okay but I'm just telling you this extra feature so yeah okay a url to image this is basically our image okay i'll just uh yeah so what i wanted to tell you is that this source because kotlin can only convert primitive types like string integer long right but this is a data class itself so kotlin cannot automatically convert that and we we want to for like get an access to who is the source of this news is it cnn or whatever right so we have to create a class converter and this is just a boilerplate code that we'll just use and i'll just create class converters i'm, I'm just going to put it here so wh what is happening here again once again so be it the articles that we have fetched from api or be it the article that obviously we want to save in our database there is one variable that is taking a uh, source a class itself so kotlin cannot like convert it like if we write string here then it is being easily converted right no issues but if there is a class here then we have to do this extra step that converts it and gives us access to the value of source class here itself okay i hope that's clear okay so what we'll do here is uh, we'll just go to service because now the real retrofit stuff is going to uh, be at work so we'll just create a kotlin class retrofit instance and we'll just uh, use a companion object and we'll just create private wall retrofit by lazy lazy means we just have to initialize it at once to log responses of retrofit because sometime the response is going to be like success and sometime it's not right so we just want to make sure that in case we run into an error then there is uh, something uh, a response that we can see to help uh, ref like solve that problem so this is kind of like the boilerplate that you guys can uh, use for your other projects too now here 
will just get this uh, boilerplate code from my old project so because I'm lazy to type and the irony is that we are using lazy <laughs> also in in yeah so this base URL obviously we have not created so we'll just create a class of uh, utils or utilities where we will just create this constant so again utils and and here we are just going to paste this boilerplate code basically this is just for the time right this converts the time into a readable format so you don't have to worry about it right now all we want is this is our api key and this is the starting url base url and obviously we have to add our queries in the middle and i'll show you in a while that what we are going to do because this if you are going to place this api key right in front of this then it will not work and like i was showing you earlier the the complete http link has these kind of values in it right this top headline and these query parameters right so and the reason if you're wondering what is companion object companion object allows us to use the class without having to create an instance of it so remember that so we'll just go here and now I can just click alt enter and then we have it okay so this obviously service is uh, we have not created so I'm going to create an interface name it as service okay and now I'm going to create our query so in retrofit get means you are getting the data and post means you are posting the data on the server itself so for example if I am on Twitter okay and I am uh, posting a tweet so that means I'm posting on their server but get is if the tweets are being displayed to me that means like we are uh, getting the data from there so similarly here we are getting the data and here what we have done is we will just create query the country country code you can type any country code that is available on the website uh, there are some country codes uh, here if we see here like you can get news from uh, like many countries right Zimbabwe US Singapore and whatnot so we are just going to use US more common one and then I'll just copy this and we'll just get the page the page number is going to be one which is integer okay um page number and then again there is query okay api key then it is going to be page number is going to be followed by the api key so the api key string api key and obviously this is a constant too so it has to be imported okay and then response news okay this response is obviously from retrofit so great um, why am I seeing this error there is no space okay mm. let's check oh yeah here is this error okay so 
what basically this is doing is this is taking let me take you to the utils this is taking this first paste URL and then this is adding this word in front of the base URL and then it is being followed by the queries parameters and while we are at it we'll just create because we are also going to search news by category so we'll just copy this and we'll just change it get by categories so that URL is going to be different right so we'll just say everything this is not a word that I'm using by my own because this is from the documentation and the query is going to take Q and here similarly we'll just say category is going to be nothing and then the API key okay so that's all for this tutorial we have successfully created our uh, the JSON response into con uh, into Kotlin classes and we have created our retrofit service and I think uh, lastly I'll just also create a wrapper class that helps us to ensure uh, that the data is like uh, if it's a success if it's loading if it's if it's failed then this is kind of a give us protection uh, of that sort that we can log the errors and all that okay so this is just very simple we'll just like use this boilerplate code okay yeah so that's all for this tutorial now we will be working on basically our room database and view model I think in the next tutorial.